Experience is something Forbes has in abundance. Thanks to the many Highland games and strength contests, fellow Scott and former shot putter Douglas Edmonds has promoted in recent years. So this definitely should be a good one for Cowan. Curtis Leffler has discovered a different world outside his sport, and next year he certainly should be stronger and wiser. We could have a second British competitor in the final alongside Gary Taylor, but it all depends on Cowan beating Rasmussen. However, if Rasmussen beats Cowan, they draw level on points. But so far, this time, it's all about Forbes Cowan and Scotland. Hawaii finding it difficult. This is number three. On it goes. Now come on, Forbes. This is where it counts. Leffler still down at number two, stranded. Now to the last one for Forbes Cowan. This could be worth a place in the final. He's given it 100% effort. He's got it. It's a very fast time. Maria is delighted. Curtis Leffler struggling with the second stone still. Perhaps a slightly demoralizing moment for him but he now knows what it's like to be part of the biggest strength show on earth. I have to win to be sure to get in the final. If I get second, it depends of, of Varalazzi and, and Forbes, how they are doing. So I, I, must, I must go for the win. Kyllä mä uskon pääsevän niin, että vaikka mä olisin kolmas tässä, niin siinä vaiheessa kolmella kilpailijalla olisi samat pisteet. Ja jos se menee niin kuin aikaisemminkin, että aikaisemmat voitot ratkaisee, niin silloin finaalipaikka on varma. I couldn't have put it better myself. These two men know exactly what they have to do. Baralati and Rasmussen making their first ever appearance in World's Strongest Man and both making a big impression. And both men very tall and rangy, so well suited to this event. Baralati, in fact, on this side, well over two meters tall with a fantastic reach. Just wraps his arm around those stone balls. The first one looked very easy. Rasmussen keeping in touch though. The crucial target in the left hand side of the screen there, 44.76. That's Forbes Cowan's time. Well, Finland making it look quite easy at the moment. Just creeping ahead of Rasmussen. This is turning out to be a very fast time, and this is bad news for Forbes Cowan. Look at that. Coming up to the last. And it was just Varalati by the skin of his teeth in a magnificent time. And Rasmussen ahead of Cowan as well. It's all down to the judges now to sort out who goes through to the final. It was so, so close. And Marco wins by a margin that is wafer thin. So Marco Varalati's four points mean he's through to the final. But the other scores leave a question mark over who will join him. First of all, congratulations. Was it as easy as it looked? Ensiksi onnittelut, oliko se niin helppoa, mitä se näytti? Kiitos. Ei se niin helppo ollut, että kyllä se kaikilla on yhtä vaikeaa. Mutta tänään meni hyvin toi laji ja uskon, että finaalis pystyy vielä vähän parantamaan sitä. If he can, that's bad news for the rest, because he's shown what a tremendous athlete he is. But what about Forbes and Fleming? Level on points and previous places, how on earth will the judges resolve who goes through to the final? Well, exactly what happens next is up to referee Doug Edmonds, who decides on a playoff. The tiebreaker will be a race with one of the McGlashan stones over a measured course. 25, 30 metres, depends how we can fit it in here. So the stone will be placed in front of you, blow the whistle, pick it and run for the line. The crowd having a certain amount of sympathy for these two guys. And there's Maria giving Forbes some encouragement. The reason they couldn't be split was because they were absolutely level on previous first, second and third places. And that's the target for a place in the final, the quickest time to complete the course. Oh, it's Fleming away quickest. Forbes trying to hoist it onto his shoulder. He's catching up Rasmussen now, but he's dropped it. He's walked away. Rasmussen now knows he's won it. Rasmussen is delirious and he goes and says thanks to the coach who incidentally is bigger than he is and Forbes must be hurting inside. The Great Dane celebrations are going to go on and on and first of all though a big hug from girlfriend Connie. There's no doubt that Fleming was being caught 
but Forbes just lost the delicate balance. He could have picked it up and gone on. I just wonder if he misunderstood the rules. Fleming knows he's in the final, and Forbes reflecting on what might have been. Congratulations, you're through to the final. You must be delighted. Yeah. I'm very delighted. I didn't, I didn't count to, to beat Forbes. It's, I didn't think I could do it. So, a huge disappointment for Scotsman Forbes Cowan, who was literally pipped at the post. The result means that the Dane Fleming Rasmussen and the Finn Marco Verilati joined six other strong men who've already qualified for the final. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.